I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in And the last out, see me coming Been popping, sports center from a little I was watching Spin a bag like I'm Rafa, call that top spin How could I not win? This is top ten From the bottom, got a sniff out the top wins I sit back, reflect, and do it again Hardest milli is the first, now we got ten Talking ten, 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 ten times ten and again I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through to the right. And now they'll have to go on defense. Touchdown. He'll come out throwing on first down. On target over the middle. Down a touchdown. They have to get it in the end zone. To the air. It's Holstein. Quarterback floating away from pressure. Touchdown, Panthers. That ties it up here in double OT. And now they can win it. Man, what a great response by this offense going down the field, scoring the touchdown. Now, i got to go for two. I know the new overtime rules. They changed this years ago. Jesse, you should work on this in practice. What's your go-to two-point play right here? I'll tell you, after running the ball as well as they did on that last touchdown, I could see them doing it again. I think they've got confidence in the big fellas up front to get... Starting in double overtime, and this one would win the game. Looking to throw. He got it in there, and we are tied again. Is this fun or what? We're headed to triple OT. It always comes down to a few key plays in a game like this, but to lose in overtime, just an absolute kick in the gut. It's a kick in the gut, and you remember those exact plays, Reese. The things I could have done a little bit better are the ball. <laughs> Okay, 
okay, okay First in and the last out Never tried to go the fast route Marathon, not a race Putting hours in, I cash out Game time, been lit Been the man, been him In the box like nine nine Got pinstripes on my skin, okay Go mamba all in my zone When the wind going home Welcome everyone to Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium, site of this year's Goodyear Cotton Bowl, part of course of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover and another team that's battle tested already off one playoff victory. As we'll see the number five seed in this playoff, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish taking on the number four seed in the playoff, the Pittsburgh Panthers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. Only one team here can keep their championship dreams alive. Doesn't bring the kick out, touchback. They'll start at the 25. So the Pitt Panthers' offense will get the first swing today. Of course, the home of the Cotton Bowl in modern times has become eight. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Here we go. Back to pass. It's Holstein. The pass is intercepted. That's a short return, but the pick wipes out a scoring threat and sets up the offense at the 33. What a job by this defense. Really confusing the quarterback jumped in front of it, and they come up with an interception to get this game started. The question I have, Chris, can this quarterback, with all this hype, put that one behind him, get ready to play a good game the rest of the way? Looking for some space. It's Love. Gets the first and still running. We'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Chris, it's a great touchdown run here by this back. But the continuity of this offensive line was on display. And that's the reason he was able to get into the end zone. Play coverage, a blitz. Drop him back. He'll get a throw for the first down. That one is in. Back in motion now. He's past the marker and still going. Big game. Looking to throw it on first down. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And the deep shot falls incomplete. But wait, there is a flag on the play. So we'll check that out. Running the counter tray. Now you're seeing it modernized. We'll see how many different versions they'll run today. They finally corral the end zone, and he almost came up with a touchdown. Takes the snap and takes off on the run. You make it for the score. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. This is what I love about this quarterback. It's a great touchdown. He shows you his versatility. We know he can throw it, but here he shows you his speed and how he can make the defense pay for that as well. on a playoff game you don't want to dig yourselves too big of a hole they got to keep this drive alive so they need freshman introducing himself to the quarterback there chris that is textbook by this defense and man-to-man -man coverage nowhere to go for this quarterback he's looking around everywhere to find an open man by the time he figures it out it's a sack for the defense Time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. And they'll try the jet sweep here. Oh, look at the quick cut. Second effort their defense. And he'll drop back here on third down. Pressure is coming. He's hit. Intercepted. Picked off by the defense. Going the other way. Can they stop him? The 10. He's going to score on the pick six. Touchdown. 
Just a tough spot to be as a quarterback. He feels the pressure. He wants to get rid of the ball. But you can see what can happen when the pressure gets to that quarterback right in his face. The ball is up in the air. The defense is able to come down with it, not only for an interception, but they get a touchdown themselves. Sets up second and long from the 18. He'll hand it off. Get some space around the 30. And the play is good enough for a first down to move the ball to the 44. There's nothing more that helps an offense. Everything else that you're doing is an offense in the rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. And he's got it already past the first down marker. Breaks clear over the right side. Can they chase him down? Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Irish. This all week, I wonder if this back make it loose and come up with a big play like this. The defense had their back turned. Couldn't really see where he was. By the time they realized it, he just had too much speed, and he's able to take it to the end zone. It's Holstein. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. And the game just good enough for a first down. So, Kirk, as we hit the quarter break here, Notre Dame has the lead. And the first quarter is in the books. What is a huge opportunity for both these programs to get a step closer to a national championship? But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. You gotta respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. Now we'll see if they can convert. Third down, out of the shotgun. Grab near the sticks. It's really counter an effective pass rush. Allow those defensive ends to get upfield and then hand it off at the last second. There's the tackle. Down here in the red zone. It's a run. Running back's got it. He moves the ball. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack in their game. Touchdown. Hit. Strong game by this quarterback. That's a crucial score for the offense. Chip in away, Kirk, just trying to stay in this game here. And it's too early to see if this touchdown is going to change the momentum and allow them to cut down into the lead even further. But if you're this head coach, you tell your team, let's just keep chipping away. He'll return it from inside the five. Physical run breaking tackles. But he's got some space here. That's a very nice return. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. Got him. He's sacked. The last drive, the ground game was so successful. Ended in a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can respond to it this time. He's got it for a big game. Their jump. And that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. Shotgun formation here on third down. Let's it go quickly. Catch is made. You better bracket or double team some kind of coverage rolled to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. Intercepted right near the end zone. What a play. After that run on the previous play. On the ground, it's low. Got the first down, now looking for more. Breaking free at the 35. The head out of bounds after another big game. They have chewed up this team. Picks it up, gives them enough room to pick up some solid yards. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30. He's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. Solid. 
They're going to run it. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. I mean, that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield. He may go for a third or a fourth later today. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Chris, we wondered all week what this matchup would look like. So much at stake in this win or go home game. And we've been treated to a fabulous first two quarters of playoff football. These two defenses have really been up to the task so far. And it's hard to ignore how each of these two secondaries have impacted things. They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. That's it for us from our EA Sports studios in Orlando. Let's head back to Chris and Kirk for the exciting conclusion of this one, where we'll find out who is moving on in the CFP. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And they heave it deep downfield. Catch made all the way down inside the 35. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are, working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down, you gotta throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it, you convert, and you keep working that clock. There's the handoff. He's not going to get... The field goal is good. And that will extend their lead even further. I was watching this guy in pregame. He's got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. down the sidelines for big yards. As the first down is still going. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. It's exactly what they needed to do. This is too big of a game. They've come too far. They're in the playoff. You're down in the second half. Good job of keeping this drive alive. And they stop him. Looking for six. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Well, this is how you start to get rolling. That's two touchdowns so far. And the more he gets fed, the more often he's going to cash in. Trying to find some room. It's low. <laughs> Tackle after he makes the first down as the seconds tick away here in the third quarter. So, Kirk, as we hit the quarter break here, Notre Dame has the lead, sitting in a pretty good spot as you wrap up the third quarter, trying to keep those national championship hopes alive. Let's take a quick look at the game sets. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And looking for a big play here. Deep shot caught down inside the 20. Finally tackled down at the 17-yard line. Now this offense in great scoring position. You know, they've got a lead here late in the game, and the play calling, I think, shows you how much confidence they have in this quarterback. He's had a pretty clean game today, and this decision to still throw the ball with the lead shows you that they believe. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And they stop him at the four. Third and goal, try to make it on the ground. No problem, knocks it right through. And they add to their lead.
And he'll set up to throw. He bought some time, now lets it go. Grab behind the line. Find the end zone this time. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve. As a design quarterback keeper. And they've got him at the five. Great run to set up scoring position here. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. He's going to hand this off. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown. That's another touchdown for this one. And they can't stop it. Yeah, this is going to be a performance we're going to be talking about for a long time. I just love watching because he's doing it in so many different ways. We've seen speed. We've seen his physicality. He's breaking tackles. Boy, just an absolute dream scenario, as you said. It's a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. Receiver left alone, wide open downfield. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. It was a foot race and he won it. Now just a brilliant game from this quarterback. With a spot in the natty and the line, we need you got to step up, and this guy has delivered so far today. You know, it's just everything coming together. The preparation that he put in leading into this game, the offense doing their job of taking care of him, the receivers running good routes. Everything right now is clicking for this offense and this quarterback. Receiving team makes the recovery. The hands team does its job. This one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. It's victory formation. The quarterback will kneel down. Well, it wasn't a flawless performance, Kirk, but they looked pretty good out there today and a very satisfying W. Well, I think this group has a chance to do some really special things this year. They clearly have talent to be able to work with. And I've been impressed with how this head coach managed the game and led his team to a victory. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.